YouTube, what's going on? I know it's been a while since I dropped a haircut tutorial. Some of you guys may already know I've been out of town, man. I've been, I was in China for like two weeks doing business. And then when I got back, I had some lost time. I had to make up with the family. So we went on vacation. I went to Cancun. Um, and I vlogged a lot of it. Um, I, so far, I've only put out one vlog the first day in China, but we have more I'm going to share with you guys. Um, and then I, I did vlog some of the Cancun, so I'll share that with you guys. I know it's not related to hair cutting, but to me, it is related with barbering because barbering is a lifestyle. And I constantly get questions asked like about, about the business side of barbering, the finance side of barbering, and also, you know, how do you integrate the whole family thing with, with this? And to me, it's a lifestyle. And so I like to share. You know everything not just haircutting with you guys and so if you're interested in the vlogs they are coming out soon um, but before we get started with this tutorial I wanted to announce that we're giving away a foundations course so if you don't know what foundations is it's an in-depth online course um, I break down everything as far as haircutting efficiency and speed um, quality fades scissor work finances investing everything that has to do with barbering and setting yourself up for a successful career not just a successful hair cutter and so we're giving one of those away uh one or two foundations courses away the explanation of this um the rules to be qualified to be in this giveaway will be in the description below this video um but just to give you guys a brief explanation you got to be a 245 facebook group member um, and the reason why is because I want to incentivize people to want to join the group. It's a great group. Um, there's about 14,000 people in this group who are willing to share, who are willing to give, who are positive. The culture's right. The atmosphere is right. Every now and then we purge the group just to make sure that people who aren't contributing aren't taking away from the overall feel and, group, um, and vibe of the group. So we, we, like, we like quality members that actually contribute. And so... Um, yeah, I want to share this group with as many people as possible because I know it can help you if you're not involved and you need help in some things. Um, but yeah, uh, in the description below, there'll be a link for the Facebook group and all the rules to be in this giveaway if you're interested in the Foundations online course. If not, let's just watch this tutorial. Alright YouTube, so today we have a number one fade into longer length on the top. And I'm starting off with my number three guard to go ahead and clear my canvas. It's gonna tell me my end point. It's gonna tell me what I'm fading to. And I'm trying to keep the the shape and or the bulk that you see above the ridge there or on the parietal ridge. So once we've done that all the way around the head, we'll go ahead and go to our number one guard, which is gonna be the starting point of our fade. I'm using a Babyliss Gold FX Clipper. It's just customized as far as color. Like, there's no like performance customization. All right, we're doing this all the way around with a number one guard, and it's closed, three millimeters. I like, I like to make sure that my guidelines are nice and clean. Just lets me stay organized throughout the fade. So now I'm going to my number one open. And we're going up about half an inch to an inch. As you can see in this haircut, I'm, I'm doing it, you know, I'm doing each guard all the way around. All right, so now I have my number two guard and it's closed. And I'm trying not to create like a hard line since it's number three that we ended up, that we started with. We kind of know what we're blending into, right? We're blending into a number three. So I'm trying not to create a line by using a lot of the heel of the guard. That'll, that'll allow me to, you know, mitigate the risk of creating that guideline or a new line. And we're staying obviously below the Parado Ridge with that number two guard. Okay, so now we're gonna bring 
that one open together with that two by using that one and a half guard. And I'll go in anywhere from halfway open down. Um, every now and then I open it up a little bit more than halfway open. It's really just, you know, paying attention to how the hair reacts. You can see it's, it's coming together much better. Man, that shot is like super close. The camera I'm using is the Canon M50 with the 22 millimeter lens. Just, just FYI, if you guys are wondering, because the shot is kind of crisp. All right, so I went back down to my number one guard open, and I'm just detailing at this point, just trying to get any little, you know, dark areas, trying to lighten it up and make sure that it's a nice, fluid, consistent blend. I switched over to my JRLs and I'll do some of my detailing with that as well. Okay, so at this point, we're gonna soften up the or the hair around the bulk around the Parado Ridge a bit using clipper over comb, and I'm really just taking the very ends. I'm not trying to clear the bulk, right? I'm not trying to do any mass massive amounts of cutting. I'm just trying to refine and kind of any little hard lines or any ridges. I'm just trying to clean up. So I'm just taking off what's coming off the spine of the comb, really. And the clipper is closed by the way you could open it up some just to be safe you know if you're not comfortable with clipper over comb yet that'll that'll um that'll help you not make make mistakes as much as if it was closed so going right back under that with that number two guard and just just cleaning it up refining it following it up with the number three just to bring it all together you can see how the blend comes out pretty nice going into the and we kept that shape we kept that bulk that's there and I think overall the silhouette of the cut is gonna it's gonna look really nice so we're doing the same exact steps on this side I'll shut up and let you guys watch All right, and just like the other side, we're gonna go ahead and go down to my one open, and we're gonna detail it. I'll probably um, jump over to the JRL and finish refining with that, and then we'll start the lineup. I believe we do the lineup, or oh, we, we cut the top, I, I'm not sure. I recorded this a, a little while ago. Yes, okay, so we're gonna go straight to scissor work. I'm just trying to keep it squared. We're just doing a trim. He liked he liked the length that he had. 
So we're just doing a little bit of trim, really just kind of refining the shape he already has. So at this point, I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm grabbing the hair kind of horizontally, I mean vertically now, um, kind of like diagonally, just to cross check it. And now we'll go ahead and start to blow dry it and prepare the hair for its final look and lineup. And I'm using the Andes cordless T outliners. Again, they're not modif performance wise, they're not modified, modified or anything. I'm trying to give him a nice clean lineup. And really, what I try to do is um, keep it natural, but you know, I will get as cosmetic as I can in order to give it you know the sharpest line without without pushing them back too much right but we are trying to create a nice sharp detailed look and especially after the lineup it's it's really good to detail the cut. You can really see the haircut, you know. And so I like I like to detail after the lineup as well. As far as fading and, and cutting. So I noticed on that side I had to make the sideburn a little bit skinnier, so I just made sure that the other side matched. So we're gonna use the Royal Wax Tomb 45. Um, it's kind of it's kind of like the clay just less hold um, a little bit more shine it's a little a little bit more movable but still has decent decent um, natural hold All right and then we'll be using the Jack Dean pompadour comb now as I'm styling it I am explaining to him why I use the product um, why I'm styling it the way that I'm styling it and I'm gonna show him you know if he grows out this corner area that looks a little bit lighter as opposed to lining it up it would look fuller so I combed a little bit of hair to cover that area to give him kind of like an idea of how much fuller it could look and so just by educating my clients I might have just sold him a puck you know, I might have just locked him in and sold him on my on my um, knowledge and, and how much I can help him as far as the look that he's looking to achieve. Because we are, we are consultants at the end of the day, and we're trying to give our clients the best look for them, right? And so if you can educate your clients, if you can give them options, then that helps as far as retaining your clients. All right, so we're using 245 Shave Gel with the triple cartridge razor, and I'm just you know detailing the the lineup a little bit more giving it a little bit more longevity by getting the the hair cut closer right but overall I think it's coming out really really dope it's not overly an overly aggressive haircut I think it fits him I think it looks good the shape is there and there it is that's the cut number one fade with longer length on top Hopefully you guys like it. Subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button. And uh, see you guys in the next video.